Number 43. Both technetium-99 and thallium-201 are used to image heart muscle in patients with suspected heart problems. The half-lives are 6 hours and 73 hours, respectively. What percent of the radioactivity would remain for each of these isotopes after 2 days, which is 48 hours? Okay, so we have to do uh, an equation for both technetium and thallium. So, uh, let's write them down. We'll do on the left, technetium, technetium, 99, and thallium, so I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put a line right here, beautiful. So, they did say that they have really, really different half-lives. Half-life of technetium is six hours. That means, um, if you, you know, if technetium is coming into the heart muscle in patients, Half of it will have already been depleted in six hours. As opposed to thallium, 73 hours it takes for 50% of that element to get depleted from the patient's body. And that's only 50%. Then you have to go another 73 hours to, you know, go down to 25%. And then so on and so forth. So that's also why, you know, thallium will stay in the body for a very, very long time. Technetium. No, it's quick acting. So let's just write that out. So we have technetium, we have half-life of technetium is six hours, and the half-life of thallium is much longer, 73 hours. Beautiful. And the question is asking for what percent of this radioactivity would remain for each of the isotopes after a random time they're telling us that we want to find this out after 48 hours. Okay. So, first off, when we're talking about percentages, we can always use percentages in terms of concentrations. Now, for percentages, you always have to you always have to have a starting percentage and and an and an ending percentage, right? If we're talking about percentages, right, when the technetium or the thallium gets injected into the patient, um, what percent would you have starting off? Yeah, you would have 100%, right? The max amount of percentage is always going to be 100%. And that's how we write it like this. The concentration, A0, just means initial. So this is your initial amount. It doesn't have to necessarily be concentration. It can be percents, um, but it's just an initial amount. So in this case, we have 100%. The same thing for the thallium. You're taking, you know, as much thallium as you need. You're injecting it into the heart muscles of the patients. And that initial amount that you injected was 100%. Cool. But now we want to find out what the final is. And the final generally is just written as A, no subscript zero. So that's a question mark, right? We want to find out how much is remaining and how much is remaining in 48 hours. So two days. This is a time interval, right? It's a, a generalized time interval. They could have asked, you know, after three days or five days or two hours. So in this case, we're going to start using our integrated rate laws and our half-life equations because they gave us half-life values. But the idea here is what, what order is this? Is this first order, second order, third order, zero order, right? Now, here's the catch. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, you know, if you read the question, they will kind of tell you um, what, the, what the order is. But in this case, if you read it over again, there's no indication. There's no indication from the units of the K value, right, the rate constant. There's no indications, you know, in, in wordings. But here it is. Anytime that you're dealing with any element decaying, carbon, nitrogen, lithium, sodium, technetium, thallium. These are always going to abide by first order kinetics. So if it's, if they don't say it and it's an element, it's going to be first order kinetics. So that's why I put the two first order equations that we need to know for this question, the half-life equation and the integrated rate law. Now, ultimately, we're probably going to be 
going for this equation? Because remember, we want to find out how much is remaining. And that's this right here. So we want to find out how much is remaining when that initial percentage is 100%. The arbitrary time that they told us was 48 hours. But the thing here is that, shoot, I don't have the K value, which is the rate constant. So that's why sometimes in order to get to this equation, you're going to have to use your half-life formula as well. And the first order half-life formula is T half equals 0.693 divided by K. Now, essentially what you can do is if you want to rearrange it, you can swap these two variables where now, if you want to solve for K, it would be 0.693 divided by the half-life. And that's essentially what we have to do here. We first have to find out that K value so that we could plug it on in into our integrated rate law. So let's find it out. For this one, our half-life is six hours. So our K value would equal 0 0.693 divided by six. 0.693 divided by six. There it is, a K value of 0 0.1155. Now the units for our first order K is just your time to the minus one. So this would be hours to the minus one, but the number is more important here because we still need to go forward. Let's find out what the K value would be for thallium as we do rate constant equals 0 0.693 divided by 73 hours. Yeah, that looks good. 0 0.693 divided by 73. And I get 0, 0.0, and maybe I'll just say K equals 0 0.00949 hours to the minus one. And just know that the higher the K value, that means that it's always going to be a faster reaction. So the higher the K value, the faster the reaction. But now we're going to take this information and just solve for our integrated rate law. So now let's do one at a time. So Maybe let's see, can I pull this up? Oh boy, let me see. There we go. So I'm just going to copy and, and put it into here, right? LN of X equals negative our K value, which we just found out, 0.1155 times the time, which was 48 hours, plus the LN of 100. Now in this case, I love TI-84s because you can plug all this into the calculator at once and it will come out with a uh, correct calculation. So let's do it. Negative this value up here times 48 plus the LN of 100. Okay, so we have LN of x equals negative 0 0.9388. Now we want to get x by itself, right? Right. That's the uh, that's the percentage. So the inverse of ln is the e. E raised to the natural log will cancel itself out. But you got to be fair. If you do it on this side, you got to do it on the other side. So I'm going to say second ln. That's the ee -E, raised to that number. And there you go, X, which keep in mind, remember, that was the percentage remaining. Woesies, not even 1% is going to be left in that body in two hours, uh, not two hours, two days, 48 hours. And that makes sense because every six hours, it's going to get depleted by a half and then a half again in 12. And then in 18 hours, it gets depleted by half again. And at the end of two days, you don't even have 1% remaining. But now let's do the same thing for the thallium. Let's see how much that's remaining. Let's see. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. Let's see. The half-life is 73 hours. So 48 hours, would that be probably, what is it, a little bit more than a half maybe? Let's see negative K, 
0.00949 times 48 plus, same thing here, ln of 100, negative, this was the k value for the thallium, times the 48 hours, plus the ln of 100. Okay, so we have ln of x equals 4.149. And now the same thing, you wanna get x by itself, so e to the, that cancels this out, so I should have canceled that out as well, and then e to the. So second ln, grab that number. Whoa! Yeah, a little bit more than a half. So 63%, 63.4% of the thallium is going to be in the system after two days. Got a long way to go. But anyway, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I try to get back to you as much as I can in my free time. Um, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being part of the community. And I really hope that these videos are helping you out. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers and it's all because of you guys, honestly, right? We're just, we're just two people, my brother and I, just trying to make a difference out there as far as education. But you guys are the ones that are really driving the channel. So thank you so, so much from the bottom of our hearts. And you guys rock. I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye.